Hi again guys, so um, now we will move to exercise number five here. Exercise number five is about the grammar. Present simple three, positive and negative, he, she, it. Okay, so look at these sentences, then complete the rules. He plays video games. He doesn't like the weather. He watches lots of DVDs. She doesn't talk to him very often. So, read. Okay. Read these sentences. Fill in the gaps. Stop the video. One, two minutes. Fill in the gaps. After that, we do together. Okay. Guys, it's important to try by yourself at the beginning. After that, we do it together. Okay. Now, after you finished, we will go to uh, grammar 4.1, page 137, and you read about the grammar. Try to understand it yourself uh, first. Then we will explain. Okay. Let's go. 4.1. Okay, so here, 4.1, stop the video for a few minutes, read about it, after that we'll do it together. Okay, let's go to the lesson. Let's open a whiteboard. Okay, guys, so here we'll do first a, a sentence with I, um, you, they. And we then here we have sentences with he, she, and it. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, because um, the sentences after I, you, they, we, and he, she, it are different. Okay. We'll know now what's different. Okay. And here will be point. Okay. So here we say, for example, I. Uh, Play foot, football every day. Okay. I And here we we'll say the same sentence. So he, she, it. And 
again here the same syntax. Okay, so here we say I play football every day and here we'll change the shape, for example, she play football, she watch. So what's the difference? After she, we add S to the verb. After she here, we add ES, okay? So this is the difference. After I, you, they, we, we don't add anything to the verb I play, I go, I come, I eat, you eat, you come, you wake up, you watch, okay? So we don't add anything after I, you, they, we to the verb. Here, after he, she, it, we add S or ES or IES. Now we will explain, okay? But now we know this. So here, this is the positive now we want to write the negative okay so the negative sentence here we say I what do we use yes guys don't uh, play okay football Full stop. And here, what we use, we say she don't. No, we use she doesn't. Very good. After he, she, it, we use doesn't. Okay. What about the verb? Uh, we delete s after doesn't. So she doesn't play mm -hmm. football. Okay, so she doesn't. Mm. Here again, we write the negative. Say I, the same thing. I don't watch TV in the morning, in the evening. And here, say again, she. The same thing, very good, doesn't. Uh, watch, we delete, yes, we need the clean verb, infinitive. Okay, uh, the verb clean, we don't add anything, we say infinitive. So the origin verb, watch is watch. TV. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay guys so this is how we write it okay here the verb is infinitive here the same in positive and negative infinitive because we don't add anything to it okay mm -hmm. here the verb this is the infinitive okay but here after he, she, it, uh, because we have she, we have s. Okay, again, here we have she, we have es. This is the original. Mm. Okay, and here the original again. Now, here because we have doesn't the negative. Okay, we use infinitive, so we use infinitive after doesn't, okay, we don't add he or she or it, this is very, uh, we don't, sorry, we don't add s or es or ies after uh, doesn't, we use infinitive, mm -hmm. okay, so now we understand this 
Okay, so when do we add S or ES or IES? We will learn it now. Mm -hmm. Okay, again. <clears throat> so we write here the verbs. Here, after I, you, they, and we. And here, he, she, and it. So, for example, we say here, work and work. Then, Then study study mm -hmm. have do go okay. So work, are uh, you, they, we, work, here we add, works, he, she, it, works, watch, mm. what we add here, watch, uh, watches, okay, someone will ask now, Mr. Nasser, why here we add S, here we add ES, mm. look, any word ends with CH, look here, this is, CH. Okay, let's open it here. Any word ends with CH, SH, okay, S, X, Z. So when you see these letters, at the end of any word, ch, sh, sxz, you add es. Okay, this is a rule. ch, sh, sxz, you add es. Hmm. Okay, here study. What do we add? Ah, here we delete y and add ies. Hmm. Y I E S. Look here, we have this word play. Any word ends with Y. Okay, look here. Hmm. Play, what we add? We add S. But why here I E S here S? Before Y, what comes here before Y? Consonant or vowel? The vowel letters we know, vowel letters. A, E, I, O, U. Uh, so this is consonant. Before Y, we add, before Y, we have consonant letter. We delete Y and add I, E, S. Before Y, we have vowel letter. We add S normal. Okay. And here, have, these are irregular. So have has different do uh -huh. does go goes these are the regular no grammar just to change okay you just to change them mm. So here again, and here the green. Okay, and here what we add S E S I E S. 
and here the last letter ch that's why we add so if you see any of these letters you add es okay and here because we have consonant okay consonant i e s remember we have consonant i e s so this is the grammar okay mm. let's repeat again after i you the we we write normal verb infinitive infinitive okay play watch after he she it she plays she watches she studies okay she has she goes she does in the negative she doesn't play we write again the infinitive she doesn't watch okay again the infinitive mm. i hope this clear again guys if you have any question about it um just write on the comments okay and um anything you like about the grammar uh, the vocabulary okay try to write in the comment what's the the best way you like in uh, explaining something i know maybe uh, you can't write english very well but no problem try i will try to understand okay guys so let's go back to the lesson and do some exercise about it okay so okay here now we have these verbs how do we add s e s i e s to these verbs stop the video take a, a pencil and a piece of paper try to add s e s i e s to these verbs okay let's do one or two together first so watch we did it together and we added e s why did we add e s because yes because what because the last two letters ch play we added s not i e s why because before y we have a go this is irregular we said we add e s no grammar here okay guys so stop the video do these verbs then we'll check together okay okay now let's check right we add s right no problem here phone the same we add s get gets finish s no no guys no s we add es why es uh -huh. yes very good because we have here sh very good have mm -hmm haves no here we change you say has we change the verb has study yes guys ah so what we do here we delete y and add i ah, yes good guys good good start starts do no grammar does live yes okay it's very easy just uh, study the grammar and after that everything will be okay any question write on the comment please okay now uh, 
we have some verbs when we add es we say uh, when we add es we say is we don't say watch watches no watches we say watches okay let's listen to them together track 71 watch watches play plays go goes write writes phone phones get gets finish finishes have has study studies start starts do does live lives okay guys as you noticed we have some verbs we say is is but for now um now you know that some verbs we say s some verbs we say is okay like watches so if you speak and you say for example we say watches no problem people understand okay but step by step this is normal you will change it uh, naturally so don't worry about it okay but now you know okay so let's have this exercise here this is a very good exercise to practice when do we add es uh, es okay this is okay story okay so look here now lorna and polly are both sales assistants in london but they we have here not so it's negative and we have work we have they after they we use don't okay not doesn't so don't work in the same shop Polly she and we have work so we, what we write we write Polly uh -huh. work uh -huh. and we add s works after he she it we add s works in a shop shoe and Lorna again she uh, work s again works mm. okay so here how many gaps do we still have one two three four five six seven eight okay now stop the video uh, write the answers okay after that play the video and check okay now let's do it together read they read we add anything no we say read mm, a lot lorna not like lorna negative she what's negative good doesn't mm -hmm. doesn't what doesn't like good but holy positive play good and she mm -hmm. watch she's good okay at the weekend Lorna not stay negative good doesn't stay doesn't stay good and she uh -huh. 
goes. Parents in part. Holly not visit. Negative. Holly doesn't visit her parents very often because they, they, they don't good. They don't what? They don't live. Because they don't live. Okay? So when we have he, she, it, we add is. Negative doesn't. I, you, they, we. Infinitive, normal verb. Or we add don't. Okay? Okay, and this exercise here, <clears throat> this is an exercise you will do it by yourself. We say here, choose a partner, but don't talk to him or her. Look at the words, phrases in the box. Guess what your partner does or doesn't do in his, her free time. Complete the sentences with the positive or negative form of the verb in the bracket. Okay. So. Now, for example, you say my partner's name. I am in the class and I have a partner. Okay. Uh, her name is Sally. Mm. Now, I look at Sally. I don't talk to Sally. But I guess, for example, you say she and go swimming. Mm. Yes or no? Um, okay, for me, I think. Mm, I think swimming. Yes. Uh, tennis. Yeah, she likes a sport, maybe tennis, yes. And sport, yes. Mm -hmm. Go gym, everything about sport, yes. Uh, read books, magazine. Okay, I know she reads books, but magazine, I think no. Mm. Video games, no. She doesn't cycling yeah this is sport she liked everything about sport um dvd no now watch clubbing no okay now after i finish i want to ask sally these questions because i am not sure i ask her questions okay so how I ask her a question. Okay, so how do I ask her a question? I will ask Sally. I will say, Sally, do you? Uh huh. Do you what? Go swimming. You and your partner, if you are two uh, partners, two students, you study together, ask your partner, okay? And the answer would be uh, yes, I do, or no, I don't, okay? Or you can say, for example, yes, always. Try to use frequency adverbs so you practice. You remember frequency adverbs? Always, usually, often, sometimes, uh, hardly ever, never. It's good to use these words again and again. Okay, or you can say, for example, no, never use them. Okay, so maybe here I say, uh, do you go swimming? I, I wrote yes, but this is guess. But she says no. She, her answer is no. Ah, uh, so 
after I write all the questions, I take the answers. Now I write my sentences, the true sentences. Okay, I write here the true sentences. I write Sally. Mm -hmm. What's here? Negative. Doesn't go swimming. Okay. After that, for example, here she says yes. So I don't write Sally again. Now she uh -huh, play tennis. Okay. Uh, be careful. She play. She plays. You add s. Okay. And here maybe sport on TV. She says sometimes. Ah, so add sometimes. Her answer is sometimes. I say she sometimes uh -huh, watch no watches. Okay, sport on TV. Okay, so guys, what I want you to do, write all of these. Uh, don't write the answer write the true sentences for example maybe you don't have uh, a partner but you answer by yourself write all of these answers sentences in the comments okay and i will check them if there is any mistake okay i will reply in the comment about the mistakes okay guys um this is a very very good exercise because when you learn something uh, in in uh, last lesson and 3d we learned frequency adverbs here we learned free time activities and the grammar all of them we need to work with them now if you take information take information take information but you don't practice you can't speak english after that the same thing for example in driving now i want to drive a car i go in the car I have the teacher the teacher tells me okay do this you do this you do this maybe he does everything and I watch okay now I go home I can't drive of course no you need to practice again and again and again. you use your information here this exercise very very important okay guys write it write the answer the same steps I said here uh, if you didn't understand very well, repeat the video here and write the sentences here. Very, very important. These sentences, if you can write these sentences, that means you understood the lesson. Okay, write it and copy it on the comment and I will check. Okay, guys. So guys, I hope everything was clear and simple. Uh, if you have any other questions about anything, please guys, write on the comments, okay? And if you like the, the lesson, okay, uh, press the like button and subscribe, share the, the lesson, share the, uh, uh, the video with your friends if you think that this is a very good uh, lesson and explanation okay i will be happy if you do that okay guys and i will see you in the next video okay goodbye